Hey there! Welcome to another episode of the Weekly Roundup. This week we'll be talking about deep learning furthering nuclear power and how AI has given Val Kilmer back his voice. So make sure you stick around to the end of the video and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with the latest and greatest in data science. In our first story this week, Google has disallowed the use of AI aimed at creating deepfakes on its Colab platform. Colaboratory is a web-based application that was designed as a way for anyone to write and execute arbitrary Python code. Providing users access to hardware including GPUs and Google's custom-designed tensor processing units. Since its creation in 2017, Colab has become increasingly popular among the research community, with researchers often including links to Colab pages on or alongside GitHub repositories hosting their code. While Google has enforced certain limitations on the platform, banning practices like denial of service attacks, password cracking and downloading torrents, the tech giant hasn't been particularly restrictive beyond those very clear abuse cases. Google quietly updated the Colab terms and conditions in mid-May, and we've now begun to see the effects of that update. Users of the open-source deepfake generator Deepface Lab are receiving an error message when they try to run deepface code in Colab. A spokesperson from Google has said, deepfakes have a large potential to run counter to Google's AI principles. We aspire to be able to detect and deter abusive deepfake patterns versus benign ones, and will alter our policies as our methods progress. The technology that powers deepfakes is slowly making it into the mainstream, from movies using them to CGI young versions of actors to video creation tools. Nonetheless, the power of this tech to amplify misinformation and accelerate libel makes the risks loom tall over the discussion surrounding deepfakes. It will certainly be interesting to see how these risks will be mitigated in the future. Our next story looks at how AI is helping bring the dream of nuclear fusion to life. At this year's International Supercomputing Conference, NVIDIA has announced that the UK Atomic Energy Authority is using the NVIDIA Omniverse simulation platform to accelerate the design and development of a full-scale fusion reactor. Today's nuclear reactors use fission to produce energy. While this is generally viewed as a cleaner form of energy than burning fossil fuels, the process still generates harmful radioactive waste. Fusion, on the other hand, would theoretically be able to produce the same amount of energy without the waste level of fission, making it a more sustainable alternative. Researchers intend on building a fully functioning digital twin of a fusion reactor with the NVIDIA Omniverse, simulating both the design of the reactor as well as the physics of the fusion plasma containment itself. This application of AI has the potential to significantly improve energy production around the world, and possibly make a large impact in the fight for the future of our planet. Our final story this week is a positive note on deepfake technology about how AI enabled Val Kilmer to reprise his role as Iceman in the new Top Gun sequel. Kilmer suffered irreparable damage to his voice after being diagnosed with throat cancer and undergoing a tracheotomy in 2014, saying that as human beings the ability to communicate is the core of our existence, and the effects from throat cancer have made it difficult for others to understand me. London-based startup Sonantic used old recordings of Kilmer's speech to train an AI model to synthetically mimic the actor's voice. Ordinarily, the dataset used to train the model would include new recordings of an actor reading lines, as well as any other old recordings available. In this case, however, the team only had old footage, amounting to around 10 times less data than the deep learning software ordinarily requires. The team then revisited the model itself, coming up with over 40 different iterations before landing on the most expressive model that would work using the smaller dataset. In the AI-generated words of Val Kilmer himself, People around me struggle to understand me when I'm talking. But despite all that, I still feel I'm the exact same person. Still the same creative soul. The soul that dreams ideas and stories constantly. But now I can express myself again. I can bring these dreams to you and show you this part of myself once more. That's the end of another roundup. If you enjoyed the video, please do give us a thumbs up or a shout out in the comments. We read all of your comments, DMs and feedback and really enjoy hearing from our viewers. We'll see you same time, same place next week.